والله يدعو الى دار السلام ويهدي من يشاء الى صراط مستقيم another very very extremely dangerous path of the devil is the issue of drugs you know i normally tell people please don't even smoke a cigarette don't smoke even a cigarette a cigarette sometimes will lead from one thing to another there was some family one uncle asked me he said look there is a certain boy he has proposed for my daughter and i want to know you you have come you have met him few times is he good or not i said look uncle i cannot tell you if someone is good or not i don't know but does he smoke if he smokes don't give your daughter he told me what i smoke i said i am telling you of the new generation if he smokes don't give your daughter but why i said okay if he really wants your daughter let him give up smoking he told me why i said okay you asking me no problem you can do as you please anyway one year later they came back to me marriage was broken the boy was on drugs so severe drugs it was all disguised by cigarette he told the girl i am i only have one bad habit i smoke and she fell for it and i smoke one and a half packs a day you know that is like maybe 30 45 cigarettes a day that is a chimney my chimney back at home has one fire in the whole year <laughs> so he is smoking smoking but that was a disguise it took her some time to pick up that this man is not normal but didn't i warn you i didn't say he was a bad boy but his qualities are bad people are good shaitan is bad all people are good the devil is bad but we need to recognize the devil and fight the devil this is why muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam even the kuffar of makka who troubled him and harassed him when they wanted to listen to quran a little bit he would quickly go because he hated the kufr in them not them he had hope in them but he knew the devil is bad people are good the devil is bad so with us also we need to realize this and we need to understand let us give up our bad habits don't even smoke and for those who are on drugs it is about time we gave it up because it starts off with a small marijuana they call it it's a little plant sometimes one day i saw a man with a big beard he told me no 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 this is just a herb herb Well I call it what you want it is a drug don't say herbs just because you have a beard does not mean it is a herb well I otherwise we will fold your beard and use it also as herb <laughs> we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to protect us shaitan does not know any age or he does not know any inclination he wants to attack everybody everybody this is why I want to mention a very powerful hadith The Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam says atadruna man al-muflis it is a hadith we need to repeat every day do you know who is the bankrupt person the sahaba said yes a bankrupt person is one who has no money no coins no no silver no gold in our terminology no dollars no pounds nothing that is bankrupt so rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam says no that is not what we are referring to a bankrupt person is the one who comes on the day of qiyamah with a lot of salah listen a lot of salah a lot of zakah a lot of charities a lot of good deeds plenty good deeds but he has back bitten about this one so some of his deeds go there he cheated that one so some of his deeds go there he slandered that one so the deeds go there he ate the money of that one so some of the deeds go there and he usurped some right of that person but his deeds are finished his good deeds are finished they were already given to some now the evil deeds of that person come on to him and the evil deeds of the other one come on to him so he came with hajj with salah with zakah with good deeds and he is going with zina and adultery and backbiting and slander and so on into jahannam this hadith is a warning for those who think they are pious who think shaitan doesn't come to them shaitan comes to the pious double strength than those who are weak because he makes us think for a moment no i am okay my salah is first self then as we are walking out of the masjid we say you see that man he is a very bad man 
You know what he did today? That is called backbiting. That salah we read before we exited the masjid, the reward of that salah is already gone to a man whom we considered a drunkard. Imagine. Look at this. So we need to be careful. There is one Palestinian doctor where I come from. He told me recently he came back from Hajj or he came back from Palestine. And he told me, dear brother, I don't like to talk about anybody. Why? Because my deeds are very dear to me. I don't want to donate them for free to everybody else. Imagine, listen to this. It's a powerful statement. My deeds are very dear to me. To read your salah is easy. To look after it is 10 times more difficult. That is why the Quran says, and I, I know I mentioned this the last time I came to Colombo. Whoever comes on the day of Qiyamah with the good deeds intact, that will be multiplied by 10. Allah didn't say, you do a good deed, I will multiply it immediately. No, do a good deed, look after it, and then you will come. You will, it will be multiplied for you. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us goodness. So, shaitan, we need to really look at how he is coming to us in our lives. He comes to us also in the form of changing the way we think. He contaminates us, contaminates our thinking so that we simply don't see what is right. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Should we inform you of those who have the worst of the wasted deeds? Those who do deeds that are astray, thinking that they are on the right path. So their mind is contaminated. They do what they think is right, yet they cannot see the light because shaitan has taken control of them. They have allowed shaitan to hold the reins that are controlling them and to ride them and steer them into the wrong direction and they are pro proceeding in that way. How does this happen? Firstly, with the wrong company bad friends so when you are in the company of those who smoke you are in the wrong company or if you are i'm giving you know a broad example sometimes if all of you are smokers then it means that we all need to deal with ourselves in a positive manner we need to discourage each other from smoking so much you need to cut down so say for example you are 10 friends all of you are smoking 20 a day you need to tell each other, look, we need to cut down to 10 a day, 5 a day, 2 a day. And you need to compete with each other in goodness because Allah says, Fastabiqul khayrat. You must compete with each other when it comes to goodness. Bad company is such that it changes the way you think just by your presence with those people. So get away from them. If you find you are evil, you are not happy, you have some bad thoughts, Maybe the people you are mixing with are wrong. Try and find others who will be good for you. Stay away. Go on to your own for a while. May Allah open our doors for us. Wallahi. You know, company is so important, so important. It can make a person or break a person. If you want, and I'm seeing a lot of young people here. Wallahi, it is your time to choose who you would like to grow up with. This is why Allah says in the hadith of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that there are seven categories of people who will be granted the shade on the day of Qiyamah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. One of them is وَشَابٌ نَشَأَ fi عِبَادَةِ اللَّهِ ta'ala. A youngster who grew up in the obedience of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. His slate is clean from the very beginning. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us clean slates. Because as you grow up, if you are in the right company, automatically when they go to the masjid, you will go to the masjid with them. Those are your friends. But if they go to the club and you go to the club with them, you will be led astray. So company is extremely important. Secondly, the media. Today the media plays a very big role 
in confusing us. There are people who control the whole world through the media. They own most of the media houses. They control what you see and what you hear. When there is no problem in Sri Lanka, the whole world will think that the place is such a dump, full of disaster, full of war, full of problems, only because of what the media is portraying to them. And you have no choice in that regard. When Zimbabwe was going through a, a crisis, more of an economic nature, people thought that we are coming from the bush. And then when those who visit the country tell us that, oh, it is such a beautiful place, not like what the media is saying, then they learn that there is a difference between listening and witnessing on your own. Sometimes you can witness news. I will give you an example. Many years ago, one of the British channels wanted to portray an image of hunger in a certain country. So they desperately wanted to portray an image of hunger and chaos. So they took 50 pounds. You know, 50 British pounds is a lot of money, a lot of money. And they threw it in the bin in the middle of the street where everyone is watching. Naturally, what would happen here in Sri Lanka? The same thing happened there. The same thing would happen everywhere else. People began to run towards the bin in order to try and get the 50 pound note. Meanwhile, they were videoing saying people are scavenging the bin. People are scavenging the bin. There is no food. People, people with suits and ties are also going into the bin. So on. <laughs> then the people who watch this news, they believe it because they tell you, Are, what are you telling me? I saw it with my eyes. They were in digging the bin. What are you talking about? But you don't know the history behind how they shot the movie. I always tell people that, you know, Hollywood, if you have watched a movie from Hollywood, it looks so real, yet there is no truth behind it at all. They created the film from beginning to end. It looks so real. You are trying to tell me that they cannot create few pieces of news to fool me and you. I hope you understand what we are saying here. If they can create a three hour movie to fool us all, it feels so real. I have seen people crying, well, like crying when they are watching movies. And I tell them, but brother, that is tomato sauce. <laughs> yes, they are crying for tomato sauce. Wallahi. It looks so real. So you are telling me that they can't fool us with a 10 minute clip, 5 minute clip. They are fooling us every day. Believe me, we are being fooled. That is why we are taught in the Quran that, you know, there are certain things you don't even need to know. You can say, yes, I know there is something going on in Zimbabwe, for example, but I don't know the details. I've just heard some details may be right, may be wrong. That is the correct attitude. Unless you hear it firsthand from someone who is living there. If I come to Sri Lanka, they warned me before I came the first time. Watch out. Very dangerous place. Anytime anything can happen. Wallahi, I've come here. I was thinking, subhanallah, it is such a beautiful place. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect this country. May he grant you peace and stability and serenity and security. And may he grant flourishing for everyone in every form of goodness. I mean. So shaitan comes to us by controlling the way we think. So sometimes we look at the Quran and we think, you know, this is not... Astaghfirullah. Uh, this is not just. How can this be the case? How can Allah say this? How can we question the creator? When now we think we have intellect. And I want to say something very openly and clearly. I'm not a politician. But when you study what the worldly law has brought to the countries that it is applied in. Take a look at the United States. It has the largest number of rape cases, the largest number of kidnappings, the largest number of murders, the largest number of robberies, the largest number of crime, the largest number of corruption. So much is happening there, yet they claim our law is the best. The law has failed. It's about time you adopt something else. Take a look at the chaos that is caused in so many places because the law is corrupt. 
but we are forced to learn the law believing that it is the only law out it is the only civilized way forward subhanallah it is applied and failed there are other laws that are applied and they have passed already but because your corruption cannot continue with these laws you will downgrade them that is the plan of the devil as i was saying shaitan the point i'm making is we need to be careful when we see something not everything that glitters is gold remember that not everything that seems to be coming from an intellectual angle is correct so many scientific discoveries have been modified over years until it comes to what the quran has said wallahi it's a fact so many scientific discoveries have modified have been modified until it comes finally to what muhammad peace be upon him has said recently there was discovery not very recently but some time back that the fingers also secrete a certain enzyme and digestion of the food begins when you touch your food with your fingers subhanallah there is research in that regard whereas we were taught at school that it starts with your teeth with your mouth open your mouth and it starts there okay it changed over time i want to give you another example of how we become fooled when they tell you who discovered america what do we say christopher columbus i think is that the right answer supposed to be i heard many yeses here what about the human beings who were living there before that what about them i know in zimbabwe when they say who discovered victoria falls if they ask you that question in history you have to write david livingstone even though there are people i have met they told me my great grandfather was living here before david livingstone even came here but i can't put his name the minute i put his name i won't get my certificate so you are forced to lie knowing that you are lying imagine and the whole world is made to believe that allahu akbar look at how we have been modified over time to believe that this thing is right and this thing is wrong we need to be careful whatever allah has revealed is right and it will never be wrong even if the world feels that this is like this or like that maybe we need to understand it correctly we are muslims we are not implementing it correctly maybe we have not understood it properly some some of us maybe we need to learn more about it but it is never wrong let's understand this if allah has shown you a path it is the path of success and if there is a path it is always the path of failure may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala open our doors it is also very very important for us to make dua that allah protect us from shaitan allah instructs the messenger to say O oh messenger you must always say O oh allah O oh my rab protect me from the whispers of the devil all of us need to read that dua O oh allah protect me from the whispers of the devil because definitely what happens is if we are not protected from the whispers of the devil he keeps on whispering when he whispers once twice three times four times we tend to deviate this is why when we are reading quran how do we start what do we say before we read the quran i seek allah's protection i seek allah's protection from shaitan the condemned because we are about to read the most important message in existence the message of the one who created us we cannot allow the contamination of the devil whilst we are reading we ask allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to open our doors and to grant us goodness it's important also for us to know that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created a special place a special place in hellfire for those who want to follow the devil we are lucky we are very fortunate we say la ilaha illallah muhammadur rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam we utter the shahada we say that there is no one worthy of worship besides allah we falter we go astray and allah tells us for as long as you come back on the path as soon as possible you are heading in the right direction you are heading in the right direction but there are some who worship the devil 
I'm not talking of Muslimin. I'm talking of people, human beings. They worship the devil. We should pray that Allah protect our offspring and our progeny. You know, when you are young, sometimes you don't see the light very quick because of the energy. But as you grow old, you get your child, you get your children, you start getting your children married. Then you scratch your head and you say, you know, I should have been a better person. People start turning to religion, older age. Why don't we start from now, young age? See the fruit it will bear for you. It will head you in the right direction. Like the example I was giving to some of the sisters, I told them, I said, you know, when you dress in a way that you want to be attractive so that everybody can see you, the young boy who will be attracted to you, who might finally marry you, was attracted to your miniskirt and your jeans. Then the day you get married to him and you are living with him and you decide I want to now adopt the way of my Rabb and my creator and I want to become religious, he will say no. This is not the woman I married. I married a woman in jeans and in miniskirt, for example. So it's important if we are dressed properly from day one, the one who is attracted to us will be the one looking with the correct eyes. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala open our doors. And if someone comes up to you as a young girl to say, you know what, I'm interested in getting married to you, immediately tell them, please contact my father. Done. If he is serious, he will go. If he was only one of those who are playing games, he will chicken out immediately. Or you say, can you contact my elder brother, please? Do not entertain the discussion further because we will be wearing the glasses of shaitan. Shaitan will show us, oh, that man, but he is Hafizul Quran. I want to tell you something. When a person is Hafizul Quran, they are not immune to drugs and alcohol and other sins. They are, other, they are ordinary human beings. It is only the one who is Hafiz who protects that Quran who will be saved. Someone who looks after it, reads it on a daily basis, makes sure that he is not found in the wrong places. What was he doing talking to you in the first place? May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala open our doors. May he forgive us. We are human beings. We falter. We fall. We stand up again. We ask Allah to forgive us. We falter again. We, we lose the road sometimes, but we need to constantly look at that road map and move further and further. You know, nowadays, when you tell someone, look at the map, They'll tell you, no, I have GPS. I have GPS. Then recently someone gave me a GPS. I was using it and I found a voice of a male. Now this is obviously on a lighter note. Please, no offense to our sisters. I found the voice of a male. And for some reason I felt that the directions he was giving me were more, you know, accurate. So the brother told me, you have a software here where there is male voice. How did you get it? I said, I don't know. It's new. He told me, please try and send it to my device as well. I will take it and get it. He couldn't. So when we jumped into his vehicle once, oh, we went through some long routes. There was a lady instructing us, go here, go there, <laughs> take this way, turn left, take U-turn now, come back, you know. So I just commented, I said, you know, there is a problem here. What's the problem? I said, maybe you are interested more in the voice than in the instructions. He said, no, but she's giving us wrong instruction. So my brother from the back said, no, man, you know, women, they like sightseeing. She wants to show you all the different places in the city. That's why we are going round. We will come back just now. Don't worry. You know, so you must know where all the shopping centers are, where everything is. Subhanallah. We would like a straight path. We want to enter Jannah. Allah says, This is my straight path. Follow it. Don't follow the paths on the side because they will lead you astray from my straight path. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to open our doors. I have said a little bit, few words of advice for the young. I told you for the youth, inshallah. And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant us the ability to swim deeper in knowledge. My words are only words of encouragement. 
Wherever I have uttered something hard, forgive me. My intention is never to hurt someone. It is always to try and raise a point. Sometimes the point is understood, sometimes it is not understood. Whatever we have taken in terms of goodness from what I have said, build on it. If there is something we felt that was not so positive in our particular case, then you don't have to build on it. But inshallah, the message of Allah and His Messenger is always strong. And it is something we need these reminders. We promise Allah that we will turn. We promise Allah we will try and identify shaitan. We will recognize him. We will not allow him to come on to our backs and to control us. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide us all. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala ali nabiyina Muhammadin wa barik wa sallim. Ya Allah, you are our creator, nourisher, cherisher, sustainer, provider, protector, curer. Ya Allah, you are the owner. Ya Allah, you made us. You made us. Ya Allah, you created us. We will return to you. Ya Allah, we are totally at your disposal. We are under your control. You control every single aspect of our existence. Ya Allah, bless us all and forgive us tonight, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, protect us from the devil, Ya Allah. Keep him away from us and keep us away from him, Ya Allah. Forgive us wherever we have faltered, Ya Allah. We have made so many wrong decisions in life, Ya Allah. Forgive us. Ya Allah, grant us a new beginning, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, don't hold against us whatever wrong we have done in the past, Ya Allah. Forgive us. We know that whenever we raise our hands to you, you wipe out our sins, Ya Allah. You love to forgive, so forgive us, Ya Allah. You are most merciful, most forgiving, Ya Allah. Forgive us, Ya Allah. Forgive our offspring, forgive our sisters, our brothers, Ya Allah, our relatives, our communities, and the Ummah of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Ya Allah. Those who've passed away as well, forgive them, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, grant us all forms of goodness, Ya Allah. Use us to serve the deen, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, the owners of this venue, Ya Allah, grant them barakah, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, grant them barakah in their lives, in their health, in their families, and in all their affairs, Ya Allah. And grant the same to every single one of us, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, all those who have assisted to make this trip a reality ya allah grant them every form of goodness in their families in their homes in their health ya allah in their wealth in all their affairs ya allah and grant us all the same ya allah ya allah we ask you the blessings of muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam bless him ya allah bless us all ya allah we ask you to bless him and to bless us all ya allah you are the owner of blessings ya allah ya allah grant us happiness in this life and contentment ya allah Grant us barakah, blessings, Ya Allah. Protect our children, Ya Allah. Protect our marriages, Ya Allah. Keep us happy in our marriages, Ya Allah. Make us people who can learn to abide by your command, Ya Allah. Help us to surrender to your instruction at all times, Ya Allah. Make us people who can spend time and effort to learn your word, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, make us from those who can spend time to learn the Quran, Ya Allah. And the sunnah, Ya Allah, and what this deen has to say, Ya Allah. The beautiful religion, Ya Allah, help us to learn it, Ya Allah. We know that the more we learn, the more convinced we are, Ya Allah. The less we know, the more guilty sometimes we feel, Ya Allah. The more prone we are to the devil, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, protect us from the devil, Ya Allah. Grant us knowledge, Ya Allah, in such a way that it will grant us the ability and give us the ability to, to identify the devil, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, help us make the correct decisions in life, Ya Allah. In marriage, help us make the correct decisions, Ya Allah. In our lives, help us make the correct decisions. For our children, help us make the correct decisions, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, help us resolve our disputes, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, we know that one of the plans of shaitan is to destroy families, Ya Allah. Help us to mend our relations, Ya Allah. Help us to come forth and love one another for your sake, Ya Allah. Help us to dress appropriately, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, help our women folk to dress appropriately, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, help them to dress in hijab, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, help our men folk, Ya Allah, to be attracted to their own spouses, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, help our men folk to be attracted to their spouses, Ya Allah. And Ya Allah, help our women folk as well to be a means of comfort and peace to their spouses, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, let our women folk be a means of comfort and peace in our homes, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, we ask you to protect us from the devil, Ya Allah. We promise you we will not sin, Ya Allah. We promise you we will not sin, Ya Allah. Protect us from sin, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, we don't want to sin, Ya Allah. Shaitan is on our backs, Ya Allah. Trying in every way. Protect us from him, Ya Allah. Remove him from our backs, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, help us so we can read our salah five times a day. Ya Allah, help us to get up for Salatul Fajr. We are indeed lazy, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, sometimes we feel so lazy, Ya Allah. 
Ya Allah, help us and forgive us from that laziness, Ya Allah. Help us to fulfill our duties towards you, Ya Allah. Make us people with lots of patience, Ya Allah. Make us people, Ya Allah. Make us people who are always obedient to you, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, make us people who can speak only those words which will put smiles on others' faces, Ya Allah. Protect us from bad words. Protect us from vulgar language, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, we are guilty. Sometimes we use very bad language on our own family members, Ya Allah. Forgive us for that and safeguard our tongues, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, we will make an effort to protect our tongues, Ya Allah. But without your help, we will not be able to do it. So please help us, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, help us to lower our gaze, Ya Allah. Help us in every way. Beautify us, Ya Allah. Grant us nur on our faces, Ya Allah, on the day of Qiyamah. Ya Allah, resurrect us with Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, beautify us to the degree that our spouses are attracted to us, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, grant us the intercession of Muhammad, peace be upon him, on the day of Qiyamah, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, resurrect us with those who are pious, those who are good, and those who are prophets, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, be pleased with us, Ya Allah. Accept our efforts in your cause, Ya Allah. And accept the efforts of all those who are struggling in your cause, Ya Allah. And use us all to struggle in your cause, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, grant us self-control. Ya Allah, grant us self-control, Ya Allah. Grant us restraint, Ya Allah. Grant us restraint from evil, Ya Allah. And grant us self-control at all times, Ya Allah. Make us disciplined people, Ya Allah. Forgive our shortcomings, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, forgive our shortcomings, Ya Allah. We ask you to have mercy on us, Ya Allah. Bless us all, Ya Allah. Grant this country goodness, Ya Allah. Grant its people goodness and peace, Ya Allah. Grant it leadership that will be good, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, and grant, make, make pure its leadership, Ya Allah. And Ya Allah, make it easy for this country, Ya Allah, in every single way, in every aspect of goodness, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, improve the economy of the country, Ya Allah. Improve the situation, Ya Allah, of this country, of the people of the country, Ya Allah. Grant them contentment, Ya Allah. Grant them blessings in their wealth, in their health, Ya Allah. Grant them blessings and peace in their families, Ya Allah. Contentment in their communities, Ya Allah. Safeguard us all, protect us all, Ya Allah. Protect the leadership of this country and protect the country, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, safeguard it from war and calamity, Ya Allah. Safeguard it from flooding and earthquaking, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, we ask you to safeguard all our lands, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, grant peace on the globe, Ya Allah. Grant us peace and mercy on the globe, Ya Allah. Safeguard us from warfare and warmongers, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, protect us from the devil, Ya Allah. Protect us from the evil plot of the evildoers, Ya Allah. Protect us from the mischief of the mischief makers, Ya Allah. Help us leave our bad habits, Ya Allah. We promise you we will quit our bad habits, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, help us quit our bad habits, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, those who make false and empty promises to us, help us identify those people, Ya Allah. And help us identify those type of promises, Ya Allah. And let us never fall prey to such people and such promises, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, keep us with the good, Ya Allah. Give us good company. Help us to be in the company of those who are pious and those who are good, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, we ask you to fulfill the needs of everyone who is seated here for indeed every one of us has different needs ya allah those who are listening into this program ya allah and those who will hear it later on ya allah we all have different needs different difficulties different issues different problems we are going through ya allah have mercy on all of us ya allah create ease for all of us ya allah improve our lives our, our health ya allah Ya Allah, we thank you so much for whatever you have given us, Ya Allah. You have given us the best of postures, Ya Allah. You have given us the best of everything, Ya Allah. You have given us noses and eyes and ears and hair, Ya Allah. And you have given us such goodness, Ya Allah. We are sometimes so ungrateful, but today, Ya Allah, we are thanking you. Ya Allah, we thank you and make us people who are thankful, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, make us obedient slaves of yours. Help us abstain from intoxicants and alcohol, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, protect our children and offspring and our family members and our communities from drugs, Ya Allah. Protect us from gambling and all bad habits, Ya Allah. Protect us from all forms of evil. Protect us from jealousy and hatred, Ya Allah. Help us, Ya Allah, to respect the ulama, Ya Allah. Help us to respect those who are carrying the deen, Ya Allah. And help us learn a thing or two from them, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, protect the masajid of this country, Ya Allah. Protect the madaris of this country, Ya Allah. And protect all those who are struggling and striving to protect this deen, Ya Allah. You protect them, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, help us to help one another. Ya Allah, help us become assets to one another, Ya Allah. 
اللهم ربنا آتنا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وقنا عذاب النار ربنا تقبل منا إنك أنت السميع العليم وتب علينا إنك أنت التواب الرحيم سبحان ربك رب العزة عما يصفون وسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين